Oh, hey, I'm just working on a picture here. I, uh, it's this bird that I've seen around here, and I wanted to make this picture just to really capture its beauty. Give me just a minute. I'm almost done. There we go. So what do you think? Beautiful, huh? Do you think I should frame it and put it up on the wall? Be honest with me. Do you think this picture is a great work of art? I'll give you the answer. No, it's not. But how about this one? Is that a good picture? Yeah, this is a good painting. This is by a guy named John James Audubon. He made a bunch of famous paintings of birds. Look at these pictures side by side and they look a lot different, don't they? But do you think that these pictures tell us anything about the person who created them? Take this one, for example. Does it tell us something about how good that guy was at drawing and painting and how observant he was of what bluebirds really look like? Sure. How about this one? Well, maybe not so much. As we learn about God's creation, we realize that we can look around and see lots of the things that God has created, and just looking around teaches us some things. For one thing, it teaches us that there must be a God. After all, how could there be such an amazing world if there weren't a God who created it all? Creation also teaches us some things about God. Romans 1.20 says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. As we look at God's beautiful, amazing creation, it shows us that he is a good God and that he is also a great God, much better and much greater than we can even imagine.